Greetings, Musecore users and developers. Uh, this is the fourth or fifth progression video for the albums project. I am Sergios Aneskia Falidis. I've been working on this for two, two and a half months. And uh, tonight, because it's actually pretty late here, it's, yeah, it's almost the midnight. I'll show you the current state of the Albums Manager and the Albums feature. So, uh, this is the default view. The Palette window is not working, so this makes editing scores a bit more difficult, but that's okay. Uh, let's close this one, we don't need it. This is the Album Manager and let's create a new album and add some scores. Add scores, not here, here, scores, and these three are courtesy provided by James Thistlewood, one of my mentors. Thank you, James. And the other two are mine. So let's add all these. And now they're here, and we can double click to open them and switch between them, like that. And of course, reorder them. So, let's play them. That was it. Um, now, oh, okay, everything works. Uh, you will notice some slowdowns, but these were not caused by me. Uh, there are problems with the latest development version of Newscore. They will be solved in the future, I hope. So, yeah. Um, most of these. No, no they, they, I'll talk about that later. So, uh, we can play back the album, we can rewind and play again. We can continue playing. Uh, these controls are used to control the playback of the album. These are for the individual scores, so like that. Now, you might have noticed, well, you sir, you certainly noticed a three second delay between playback. This is caused by the section breaks that are added at the end of each score. You can change those to zero seconds, or you can go here and change the default value of the section breaks to zero milliseconds so there will be no such delay now so there is an option there and now what else can we do so we can reorder these of course here you can see the duration of every score and the total duration of the album and let's say i want this one this is the first one okay now let's say i want to add a new a new measure insert one measure no measure selected sorry let's try this again Insert one measure, and did this work? Ah, yeah, it didn't update immediately. It should have, but it didn't. But yes, as you can see, you can update it. These are updated. Ah, you can also drag and drop this around, if I remember correctly. That didn't. Oh, that did work. Okay, all right. Mm, what else? What else? Of course, you can add a new score like that. A brand new score. Let's do this right now. Let's say demonstration. Um, we don't need the subtitle. Uh, Google summer of code or something. And next, and let's choose um, string quartet. And yes, yes, yes. And two measures for good measure. <laughs> and this is done. And now, yeah, it's right here. Now, um, is there anything else? Is there anything else? I don't think so. So, now let's move to the album mode because until now we have been playing around with score mode. Now, let's go to album mode. Aha! And now every score is combined. Did we crash? 
No, we didn't. All right. Now every score is going to combine as in one as one single score and displayed at the same score view. As you can see, there is this empty page right here. I'll explain it later. And then we have our first piece uh, and so on and so forth. And preferably, we wouldn't have the title of a score alone at the end of a page. This should actually be here. We I should probably write some code to move this to the next page. Now, we can do all the same operations, like moving things around, naturally. And what else can we do? We can, of course, play the album back. Alright, and we can edit the scores, like choose that, and this is why I, I this is how I add all these things. So choose that, let's do that, and I'm sorry for all of you who are actually good at composing music. And let's also add something here, like here, like um, I want this here. Great. Now, and if I click on another score, it continues. As you can see, you can also have different styles, like this is different than this, which is pretty great. I can also add instruments to my edit instruments, like here, mm, handbells, right? And it's been added right here. Now let's add something here, boom. And all right. And ah, I can also change the section breaks to show you exactly what I mean. Let's change that to one. Like change that to zero. Change that to one. I will explain later how I will simplify changes like this. So let's try this one again. Ah. Oh. I something broke right here. Okay. I need to rewind. And it was too long. fancy features uh, would you mind stopping uh, ah this was probably caused because I added an instrument and this might have messed things up a bit everything is a work in progress of course so I uh, you don't really expect it to work perfectly now what else can we do yeah this is the title of our album so I can go here and write this is a demo and aha this is an automatically generated front cover with the title and the names of the composers. And if we had, do we have lyricists here? Yes, we do. Well, normally there should also be the names of the lyricists like right here, but this evidently doesn't work. I, I know exactly why it's a simple bug to fix. Um, what else? Oh, yes. So now I can also generate the content page Right now, it should be pages, but for now it's a single page. So if I check this button and press OK, and then it's demos, okay. Now we have an automatically generated contents page, and because it was generated before adding the page, I need to change this one more time, and it has the correct pages. Um, so yes, my album P3 is at the third page, and the title is at that page, everything's good. And double clicking in this mode should teleport you to the correct uh, score. And it does. Yep. Um, and is there anything else? So, oh, yes, you can add page breaks at the end of each score. So, um, as you noticed before, changing the section break at each individual score 
would be quite time consuming for a big album with like a songbook with like 40 different scores. So the third part of my project, which I will develop in August, is all about the ability to make changes to multiple scores at once. So for example, we are a band and we have like, we are like four people and then there's a, another guy and we are five people now and adding a, like a new instrument that 50, 60 songs would be time consuming. Well, it would either way it would be time consuming because we would need to write something for him to play, but even adding the instrument would be time consuming. So I want you, I want to give you the ability to add multiple instruments, to add instruments to multiple scores, to remove instruments, to add page breaks, to add section breaks, stuff like that. Change the style of many scores at once, stuff like that. And we can also do this, which should add a page break at the end of each score. So yeah, right here. This is like for Mark Sabatella would like that. So this is a special little gift for him. Um, I don't think that there is much more to show you. You can also print this naturally and we might have crashed. Oh no, we haven't crashed. I don't know what's happening today with all those hanging. Uh, new score 4, temporary album score 4. Let's go. I don't know if it will work actually. I haven't tested it in a while. And go here. Ah, it actually works. It's right here. Yeah, also like printing multiple scores is pretty time consuming. So you can just add them to an album and print them. And you also have a front cover and the content page as a bonus. <laughs> Is there anything else to show you? Of course, you can remove scores. Yeah, you wouldn't expect anything less. You can change the hue mode of every score. Okay, that's not that important. Uh, that's pretty much it, I believe. Forgive me if I forgot something. Oh, one like tiny user experience improvement is the ability. It's like it automatically changes mode. It reacts to what you press. So like if I change tab, now I'm in score mode. If I go back to the temporary album score, I'm back at album mode. If I press score mode, it opens the first score in the album, stuff like that. Mm, this should be it, yeah. That's it, goodbye.